We had a great start this morning and we're just heading to some shallow offshore reefs and that wind's about to pick up and try our luck there. Just targeting a couple of bombies here, little sort of sunken islands, but look, it's a really dangerous place to fish. I don't know if you can hear in the background that big engine, that 200 horsepower engine's idling away in the background. Uh, this is a big safe boat, this one nearly seven metres long, high gunnels. But at the end of the day, if you get it wrong and you get washed up on one of those rocks, doesn't matter how good your machinery is, you're going to be in trouble. So it pays to just pull up and have a bit of a look first and see what the current's doing. Bit of a telltale there is you'll see which way the wash is drifting away from these bombies. And it's pretty safe if you know the area. Look, I know this area pretty well. We've got good deep water here, so it's, we're pretty right to drive up and then cast into the wash. But if you're fishing around the side of an island or something where the swell's trying to push in or the breeze is trying to push in, you need to be really careful. You can still fish it. Um, as long as you've got your engine running, someone on the wheel, someone standing there driving and keeping a lookout all the time in case one of those bigger swells come through and you can get on the throttle. Uh, Barney and I have got our, our life jackets on, our, our bum bag life jackets uh, there. We've got an EPIRB and a safety cell and all that safety equipment with us, but your eyes are your best bet. Keep an eye out on what's going on, use your brain, don't get too excited if you start catching a few fish and take your eyes off the ocean. And I've got to tell you, I've had a cracking bite here, straight off the bat. And what have we got? What is it? It is a shark. Oh, wow. <laughs> a shark. Oh, see. oh, look at that. Go, you good thing. Oh. Listen to that. <laughs> so a little whaler shark's actually eating my plastic. I'm not going to net that, mate. No. <laughs> awesome stuff. Got him? Hang on to him, bud. <laughs> shark wrestler. <laughs> Uh, so we got a, oh, he's a bron him? bronze whaler, isn't he, this bloke? Yeah. And we'll get that hook out of his mouth. Gee, I'll tell you what, they've got really sharp teeth. Good he's, looking critter. Yeah, are they a great looking thing? I right know, see you mate. Just fishing the shallows here a little bit at the moment and there's some fantastic screen options that we've got <laughs> with this depth sound is amazing. I think it's about a dozen different screen options, but I like the one where I've got the GPS in the corner, I've got side imaging down in the bottom, digital sounder and then down imaging. So I've got pretty well the whole gamut of um, situations covered. I can mark my point when I get a bite, I can keep an eye on the digital sounder, I can look out to the sides and see if there's any fish hanging out the sides that we can cast soft plastics at. And then I can use the down imaging as well to confirm some things that I see on the, uh, on the digital sounder. So I'll see a big sort of school of bait and I think I can see some fish around that bait fish on the digital. I can look at the down imaging and confirm, yes, I, they are definitely some bigger fish hanging around there. So no point having all that technology if you don't use it. Uh, this one's a cracker of a unit because there's just so many options and I do like the, the big screen, I can stand down the back of the boat and I can see those four individual screens uh, easy as and it uh, makes a difference and it helps you catch more fish. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's got a, got a cast out there and had that bite on the sink. And look, I'm not, I haven't seen this fish yet, but I'm thinking that it's the right variety and uh, snapper just have turned into such a fantastic sport fish since the introduction of tackle just like this. It's, uh, it's such great fun. A braid, that fire line there just telegraphs every head shake, every bump. And I'll tell you what I've got to do right now is I'm going to get Brian to move his rod. I'm just going to do a little lap around the boat here with my, with my arm out. <laughs> the breeze is howling and I've got colour down there now and I've got to tell you, it looks like the right variety, oh, Barney. Oh, nice. It looks like the nice, right mate. variety, nice. Barney. Grab your net there, champ. Got him, mate. Oh, yes! <laughs> and I reckon that's the right one. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. That's a cracking snapper. Got that big bump on the head. They are such a predator. And you look at them head on, those big pectoral fins. I've got to tell you, Barney, I don't think I'd like to be a bait fish with one of these blokes sort of sneaking up along. So we'll mark where we caught that fish there now and uh, come back along and have another crack and see if we can't get another beautiful big ready like that one there. He's a, he's a beauty. A ripper, mate. Off you go, big fella. <laughs> 